Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to cover another interview experience and this interview experience is going to be for AMDOC of an experienced candidate. So to understand the same, I have invited Tanmay on my YouTube channel. He has recently joined AMDOCS as a software developer. Before this, he was working in TCS. So we'll be getting an opportunity to know more about his journey from TCS to AMDOCS. So make sure to watch the complete video but before proceeding further to the video if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now then guys do consider subscribing so yeah i believe that's all from my side tanmay you can start with your introduction so first of all thank you so much somya for inviting me so my name is tanmay i am currently currently working as a software developer at mdocs before mdocs i was working in tcs i completed my engineering uh, in like uh, 2018 at, from uh, uh, and my branch was electronics and communication engineering okay. and i did my engineering from madan mohan malvi university of technology gorakhpur okay thank you yeah perfect so may i know that from like how you got this opportunity you applied through career portal mm -hmm. or through referral so i got this op opportunity uh, from like a linkedin platform Mm -hmm. One of my connection at in LinkedIn, she she pinged me and asked me like uh, there is a like opportunity in MDocs. Do you want to apply or not? So at that time I was not prepared for the interviews, but I said yes. Okay. So she 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 took my CV and upload and uh, referred me. And after like uh, one week, I got like a test link from MDocs. Okay. Okay. So, after that I, yeah that you got an opportunity from the LinkedIn. So that's why guys LinkedIn is very very important. If you haven't joined till now, do join. Uh, well, can you let us know what were the rounds? Like uh, if one by one, can you, you can just let us know how many rounds you so have. Mm -hmm. After my, after my, when my CV got shortlisted, mm -hmm. I got a test link. In that test, there was like 10 aptitude questions from like point and reasoning, basic questions. And uh, there was like 20 questions and multiple choice questions. Basically as my profile, is Java, so I got uh, like questions from Java. Mm -hmm. So there were like 20 uh, multiple choice questions and there were like uh, two coding questions. Okay. Like uh, okay. the level of question was like uh, medium, medium level question. Okay. So there was any negative marking also or, or, or what? No, no, there was not any negative marking. Okay, okay. And in how many days you got to know that you have been, uh, you know, shortlisted for next round and what about the next round that happened? After giving my written uh, test, first test, uh, I got like mail from HR in like two, three days mm -hmm. and uh, they scheduled my interview. Mm -hmm. And on uh, and on the day, I on the day when, I, when there was my technical interview, mm -hmm. on the same day, I got call from the HR, uh, at, uh, call from the HR that I have selected and there was like packet discussion and other form and other things discussions yeah. okay okay perfect uh, so what was the what about the technical round like what kind of questions were asked and how long it was how would you rate basically about this technical round so yeah. so, so for technical round it was like one and a half hour one and a half hour technical round so initially the uh, initially they started from like core java mm -hmm. so our uh, interview asked questions from core java basically there are four main topics in Java like OOPs, exception handling, multi-threading multi and collection framework. Mm -hmm. So mo most of the questions are from there and other and other few topics are also there like uh, uh, serialization and other things. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that uh, interview asked question from Java 8, new features like Steam API and Lambda expressions. And uh, after that, uh, she moved to like, uh, she asked few questions from like uh, Spring framework, two, three questions. And, uh, and in last, she asked question from SQL. So SQL, like basically normal questions, like from SQL, highest salary, second highest salary, extra, extra, extra yes. Okay, understood. So okay, these many things were there. So were you, like this question I'm asking because uh, many of the times when we are not able to answer one or two questions, so we used to think that, okay, we, we won't be selected also. So were you able to answer all the questions and one in the question that is there in my mind? No, no, I answered ar around like 70% uh, of the questions, 70%. So I believe you must have done some, like you were asked to write some code as well, like if you have to implement something or, or just theoretical questions were there. 
yeah, my interviewer asked like two coding questions during the interview. So they are they, these questions are not like very tough questions. So basic uh, these questions are from like basic topic like like strings and array. So so one question was from a string topic and another was from array. Okay. Okay. Understood. Uh, yeah. So I believe that yeah interview went really well. So you must have done preparation for the same. So can we know what were the resources you followed to you know to go through the concepts. To do the preparation for the interview. Yes, yes. So for Core Java, I, 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 I studied Core Java from like uh, one of the one of the YouTube channel like this Durga software, the Durga Durga sir yes. uh, teaches Core Java. So, mm -hmm. so he explained everything very well. The videos are like a bit la long, but uh, they yeah. are worth to watch. Yeah, even even so, I went through them. Uh, yeah, so the concept explanation, I believe, no one has explained the way yeah. he, he did. Yeah. But yeah, the videos are a little long. So yeah, that's true. Uh, first he made a first he made a story, then did it to the concepts. Definitely. So I really so basically I what I remember I always remember the story. Mm -hmm. So in interviews also when I whenever I give interviews first uh, someone asks some uh, if interview asks a question, so mm -hmm. I just remember the story what Durga sir has said and. Similarly, I just relate the things and explain, like uh, I explain the things, uh, same to same as Durga sir explained things to us. So that was good. And uh, for uh, Spring Framework, I I refer like two YouTube channels. One is like Java Brains, mm -hmm. and other is like one another channel is Code Learn with with Durgesh YouTube channel. So he explained everything very well. And for SQL, I just uh, follow like Geek for Geeks play playlist, like 17 videos. So most of the questions are from there. So I, for SQL, I refer like Geek for Geeks SQL playlist. Okay, okay. I must say uh, these resources are very helpful and even somewhere even I'm following the same for, you know, for learning some concepts because my domain is also Java. So yeah, I understood on that part. Uh, so I think that you have spended a good amount of time in TCS and some amount of time in um, Amdocs as well right now. So can you let us know a little bit about the work culture of TCS and Amdocs as well? So I started my career with, TC, uh, with TCS. So in 2018, I passed uh, I passed my engineering and on uh, in August 2018, the, we all know that the TCS has had a like ILP program now. It, it is not there. So we had two months of training. So the, my training was in Java only. Mm -hmm. So after that, I I I like came to my base location, Gurgaon. Mm -hmm. So here I got project. Here here I got the project. But the project is like uh, it, 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 it's a, it was a support project, and the technology was like a, I don't know what technology is that like. Message broker data part, I don't know. So for the initial one and a half year, I worked in that technology. After that, I moved to a different project where I I, I got the opportunity to, to work on with Java. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked on the banking web application of for our client. Okay. So uh, yeah, this this in 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 these two projects I worked in DCS. Okay. So after that, I got selected in MDocs and uh, now I have joined MDocs here. So, but the work culture in TCS was good. Everyone was very help, helpful mm -hmm. in TCS, and I like really enjoyed there. In TCS, TCS, TCS is like like we you are like just continuing your college, but you have like money. So I enjoyed there. Okay, okay, yeah. understood. Yeah. And what about the Amdocs? Uh, so when you joined Amdocs? I joined Amdocs on like seventh of March. So, like, how it's going till now? So, basically, in MDocs, uh, they give you like a training uh, of like one month. Mm -hmm. So, initially, there are few modules and other things like on in, on which technologies I have to work. So, in MDocs, I have to work on like Spring Boot, Microservices, mm -hmm. Kafka, and like, uh, and there are like a few DevOps uh, things also like Jenkins or and like GitHub, mm -hmm. etc. All these things, Docker. So initially, like I have to complete my like uh, hands-on exercises, mm -hmm. and there are like few internal MDoc certification of all these topics like microservices and Java, etc. 
so currently i like completed all these things and like i'm just waiting for like uh, when i will get tag to a project so i'm just waiting for it okay okay yeah understand so i think we had a pretty good discussion about the things and i believe whoever will be watching this video it will be helpful for them but before wrapping up the video i would like to know if you have any advice any message that you want to give to the uh, students or whoever is watching the video so yeah so yes uh, i want to just add one thing like if you get selected in uh, like service based company or initially like tcs wipro etc all these companies and if you if you don't get like development project mm -hmm. and if you get a support project then then don't then don't feel that i i i will i will not able to change my technology or other thing just uh, try to learn things on your own just uh, took like around uh, take like around uh, two or three hours a day and study mm -hmm. definitely in six month or one year you will able to change your company and change your technology so i even i did the same thing so i will i will also like uh, advise everyone to to do the same yeah definitely. thank you yeah i must say that is a helpful tip so whoever like even people get you know thought of why it okay we are in support how the things will be later on in the future itself so guys keep up upskilling keep learning and whatever the sun may mention that is also very very helpful so yeah that's all from my side and again sanmay thanks a lot for accepting my invitation and sharing your interview on my channel and congratulations for your new role and your new journey so, yeah, thank you yeah thank you so much sanmay